Well, it was Big Ten Media Day yesterday in Chicago, an opportunity for Big Ten coaches, football coaches and players to meet with reporters that will be covering them this season. Talk centers around strengths and weaknesses of the teams in the conference, along with which players will dominate the headlines. That player for Wisconsin will certainly be number 28, who made headlines of his own yesterday. First, the star running back came with a flashy ensemble that was the envy of everyone, and with a pronouncement that we call him by a new name. Mm, sports director yes. Jay Wilson, who still lives by Jay, don't you? I, as far as I know. All right. <laughs> what you know? is this all about? Well, Monte is the correct pronunciation of his name, strangely enough. And we're okay. talking about Monty what? Ball. Monty yeah. Ball. So I'll, I won't spell ball because you know how to yeah. do that. But, for, you know, for as long as we've known him, it's been Monty. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the story goes that it, it all started at the Heisman Trophy presentation when someone actually asked him how to pronounce his name, mm -hmm. and he actually said Monte. But for some reason, it didn't stick. Mm -hmm. A Chicago Tribune reporter then asked him, are you named after Monty Hall, the old Let's Make a Deal game show host? I had no idea who he was talking about. He had no idea who he was talking about, but he said, no, it's actually Monte. But until yesterday morning when it was tweeted <laughs> by the UW Sports Information Department, nobody, it, it never took, took uh, shape. Mm -hmm. So Monty will now be Monte oh. with the accent agu, of course. <laughs> of course. Which, uh, <laughs> that's, know, his, yeah. that's his deal. <laughs> yeah. And so, from henceforth, he will be referred to as Monte Ball. So why didn't he correct us Well, when all this time? Emily Cumlin had an interesting observation. She's like, my name's been mispronounced all my life, and I just go, yeah, whatever. You know? <laughs> she knows what her name is. And we're, I think there's some of that. <laughs> we're pronouncing Emily's name wrong? Well, no, 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 uh, Cumlin, but I mean, K-U-M-L-I-E-N. Oh, yeah. And, and a lot of people go, Cumlien or something, you, you know. You talk, you're talking to a cane, K-O-E-H-N. Right, yeah. Which is cone, yeah. everywhere. And does it bother you? Do you say, no, that's wrong? Well, that's a good so question. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes not. Okay. Well, this is not the first time name changes have happened in sports. Tony Dorsett, who won the Heisman Trophy for Pittsburgh in 1977, got to the NFL with the Dallas Cowboys and suddenly said, I'm Tony Dorsett. And so we've used that name ever since. And Joel Thiesman, the great quarterback mm -hmm. from Notre Dame and, and the Washington right. Redskins, his family name is Thiesman. But the sports information director at Notre Dame in 1967 said, you'll have a better chance of winning the Heisman if you change it to Thiesman. <laughs> and that's, and that's the pronunciation. Yeah, wow. so his family name is Thiesman, <laughs> but he is pronounced that Thiesman. Is so, All right. Monte. With the accent. On the second E. All I right. like it. It has some panache. And if you do... And if you do uh, Microsoft Word, you go Control plus apostrophe E, and that makes <laughs> really? that. Yeah, if you can do that. Tell the graphics people. Got it. All right, thanks, Ja A. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Mr. Whistle. Colleen. <laughs>